welcome back to my channel please excuse the noise it is hot today the weather has been going up and down it doesn't know what it wants to do but today we have like a mini i want to say mini because your girl got some lamb chops lamb chops chop, lamb chops that she's like ready to eat and some nachos and like some beef stew and oh my god like i'm so hungry right now but i want to give you guys another video and i've been kind of craving seafood just a little bit just like a tiny bit just a little bit so yeah this is a mini seafood mukbang or mukbang um excuse my nails we are all going through it right now so oops yeah and i also have jack honey in here in case you were wondering what that was at the bottom So yeah. Get that in there. But yeah, please excuse the noise. If like my microphone catches like my fan and stuff like that, I'm so sorry. But yes, how have you guys been today? I've missed you. I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is doing good. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I guess we're gonna start first with a potato I have um let's see I have a snow crab cluster and like one king crab leg two corns one egg three potatoes and cucumbers no shrimp no lobster tail Like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to save room for them lamb chops. Oh my god, so good. And I don't know what it is. I feel like the past couple weeks, I've been trying. I've been trying new things. Like, um, first time I had lamb chops was like months ago, like last year. And I think it was from Longhorn. I didn't like them. And then I tried, um, I tried curry goat for the first time from this um, place called Island Paradise Takeout, which if you live in the Memphis area, you should definitely go check it out. I think he's open from Thursday through Saturday. No, Sunday. So yeah, definitely go check him out. I should definitely do a review on that. I like love it. And he like, he basically he serves like Jamaican dishes. Oh yeah, also excuse the armpits. We're all going through it right now. Can't, you know, wax. Well, I'm not going to wax myself, but that's not going to end well. I'm going to be walking around with just the wax strip under my arms. And I'm not trying to do that. But yeah. Definitely go check him out. Cause um I finally got my oxtails. When I say it, I was like so happy. Like I was so happy. I think I almost cried. And it was so good, you guys. But besides all, you know, that, because I know we're eating food, we're talking about food. I don't, honestly, I don't know what to say about, like, what's going on right now currently in the world. Because I just feel like the 
the only thing I have to say currently about the world is it will never go back to normal. Like, remember when everybody was like going to parties and going out and going to restaurants and basically just didn't have really a carrot in the world. Besides, you know, um, shootings and stuff like that. Now it's like, this virus basically is like a weapon that you know you can't really can't really see if that makes it yeah you can't really see it if a person has and stuff like that because they're saying so many different things first they're saying you know dry cough respiratory area infection I forgot what it is but um yeah and then it's Oh, well, you can still have it and not show any symptoms. And it's like, what? Like, what the heck? So, I don't know. I just feel like the world will never go back to being, like, normal. And if you have like an iPhone, Apple product, I'm pretty sure like if you have it, like cut it off, you're getting those not like those news notifications about like different stuff that they're saying about the virus. Like, I'm getting notifications saying, you know, which I probably need to look more into, but school is going to be closed until, you know, next year, next year. And then, um, what else? It was something that said everything isn't going to go back to normal until, like, 2022. And it was, like, 2022? We ain't even made it, like, the end of 2020. We ain't even made it to 2021, and y'all are already guessing, like, everything's not going to go back to normal. I mean, I feel the same way, like, ooh. like, I had trips planned, all that. Like, what can you do now? But yeah, Ooh. that's hot. Basically, I don't know. I don't want to be that person like every time I upload a video because of what we're going through. This is what I'm all like constantly talking about. I don't. Because I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. What is there, like, what else is there in life for me right now? I'm not taking trips. I'm not flying around. I'm not hanging out with friends.
I'm just. Because I'm an essential worker, I'm just going to work. Working, you know, whatever hours they give me or whatever the flight schedule is. And then. Come on home. No, oh, it's, it's like um, the grocery store, gas, like just basically like stuff that's needed. I'm at home, and I know a lot of us. We sat there and said, "You know what? Oh God, I wish I could sleep in all day and did it." Nope. Mm mm mm. I don't want that no more. It's like I want it, but I don't want it. And I feel like we all... We want it, but we want it on our time, basically. Because, like I said, this, this is right now, it's a very scary time. Because, what if this is like the new norm? Like, I will, and this is bad on my part, I can go to like Walmart, Walmart, Kroger, the gas, the, whatever it is, and I need something. Oops, excuse me if my eyelashes are messed up. I didn't really care to get all glammed up and anything like that. I just don't have eyelashes, but um, I can go to Walmart and stuff like that. Sweatpants, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever it is. My usual. Like how people sit there and say like, oh, I've been doing this. I've been staying at home. Da, da, da. Now y'all have a name for it. Oops. That's like how I was. It was like, oh, it's a name for it now. It's quarantine. Like I've been doing this. But um, I'm type person. I get in and I get out. Now you have people who like will be coming in and get their stuff, getting out. And then you have you have other people who just be standing there like analyzing stuff that they're looking for. Not walking in with the mask. So I was like, okay, cool. You have a mask kit. You have a mask too. The thing about it is because you sitting there analyzing what Alfredo sauce you gonna buy for your pasta don't mean I wanna stand there waiting on you to move out the way. I get it. They said stay six feet apart but I'm gonna need grandma or mama or daddy or whoever to move out the way so I can get what I want because I came in here on a mission I'll tell you guys that being on my nerves I have people Standing in the middle of the aisle. And then, like, when well, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to wait on you to move. I'm going to just go ahead and walk down the aisle. I walk past and they jump. And it's like, what you jumping for? I ain't got nothing. Calm down. 
I'm not just finna sit here and wait on you to move out the way after you decide, you know, for five minutes what you want to get. Like, be respectful of everybody else. We're not finna sit here and wait on you. This is just not finna happen. I'm not, I'm not finna sit there and wait on somebody to decide if they want mayonnaise or ketchup. Because trust me, this wouldn't be the new norm. Mm -mm. I can't do it. Because I catch an attitude real fast. Like, you think I'm going to sit there and wait on you to decide which condiments you want? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not for new. I don't know. Basically, like I said, in the beginning, I don't think the world is going to go back to. Being normal. Oops. So now it's kind of like we have to kind of adjust the life that we live in. And now I'm thinking about it. Since I've been eating, I've been talking about this whole quarantine. Coronavirus thing. Because I have nothing else to do. Just work. Come home. Netflix. YouTube. Relive my childhood on Disney Plus. Like, <laughs> what else is there to do? Nothing. This is not going to open up. I can promise you that. Everything's struggling right now. Like, I can do my own hair, but nails, yeah, I tried. I really did. And the thing about it is, I had to take off my dipping powder set that I had because it was like, when was it? It was like a month, maybe? Maybe? Maybe a month? Since I went to the nail shop, so it was just like, uh uh, but we can keep trying to hold on. But you don't have to look at them hands. Every time you look at them hands, you going to pass the fuck out. Oops. Oh, I didn't take the um 
the spikes off these. Ooh -wee. I just hope let me just go ahead and cut this whole thing because I'm not gonna be able to enjoy it these spikes constantly I mean, I think we all wish everything to go back to normal. You know, beginning of May, middle of May, end of May, you know, beginning of June, before summer starts. Well, it's like at this point, I mean, stupid thing. Can't do, can't do nothing but sit there and wait. And then I'm hearing that they want to open back up. Not the public. It was something I forgot. I was told non-essential jobs or whatever. It's like something. I don't know. I have to go check my um my news. Cause I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. And I'm not even gonna lie, like during this whole entire thing, I ain't seen certain people that I'm used to in my life. In a minute, like my little baby cousins. I haven't seen them in almost two weeks. It was like, wow. Like, you have people who have to celebrate their birthday inside their house. On FaceTime, video chat, or like that, with a family. Ah, oh, because they don't, you know, I'm saying, don't want to risk their loved one getting sick. And I told, you know, I told somebody, I was like, you know, just <laughs> New Year's Eve, a couple months ago, you know probably a month ago like February into February everybody was out doing stuff you know what I'm saying and big groups excuse me it's like now nobody is in big groups because you know it's if it's it has to be 10 or less people that you're around and so it's just like I don't oops I don't know what to make of all of this at this point I went from saying I want to talk about quarantine and the corona the coronavirus so now I'm talking about it. 
Because it, it feels like it's our new norm. I've been talking so much, my jaw's starting to hurt. Cucumber has never failed me since I tried it from the beginning. First time, not the beginning. First time I tried cucumber, I like to dip in dash butter sauce, my sauce. It's just like. It's so good. The thing about it is, I don't eat sausage. Well, what is it? I forgot how to pronounce it. Basically, the sausage that you eat, like with seafood, I don't like the taste of it, so I don't really eat it. So, trust me, I've always wanted to try um, Kim's whole, you know, cucumber rice sausage thing. Because I feel like that would be good, but it's just kind of like. Find the right sausage. Oh, and then I didn't have no lemon in this video. I just realized that I had a lemon. Some juice got in my eye. I'm getting full. It wasn't even that much. So I'm definitely not going to have enough room for them lamb chops. Mm -mm -mm. So, that will be the end of this little mini mukbang i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like and comment and also you guys we're all going through this together so i hope you guys stay safe make sure you wash your hands excuse me and make sure to really check on your loved ones because i feel like we're all being affected 
buy it, you know. It's just, it's, it's very, very serious. And like I said, I don't feel like things will go back to normal, like how it used to be. So, um, I hope you guys are safe and enjoy the rest of your day or night or wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.